On this day when I'm filming this video, two things happen, which are very tragic. One is that I am starting school. Another one is that my is my last day at Builders Club. Yes, I know, sad life. people welcome back to my channel and today I want to do some fun and read some fan fictions yes I've actually been wanting to do this video for quite a while but again like I said in like previous videos when I do these type of videos like I'm not sure if I want to do it but just for the sake of entertainment I'm just gonna go for it and see how it does probably will be weird because Fan fictions can get out of hand. So I'm gonna be reading two types of fan fictions. Uh, what is actually a fan fiction I wrote when I was in high school? Um, and it's Roblox related. The other fan fiction I'm gonna read is outside of Roblox. Uh, no, it's not an anime related fan fiction. It's um, I'll explain when we get to the next fan fiction. But for this sake, we're gonna read the fan fiction I wrote. It's not DB related, obviously. Uh, it's actually the Mad Murderer related. And if you've never heard of the Mad Murderer, it used to be a very popular murder mystery game. It's kind of like Nicolaitis's murder mystery. And I remember like writing 20 chapters of the TMM fan fiction. Uh, we're not gonna read that, okay? <laughs> because I really don't like it. But I want to read the, the shorter. DMF fan fictions that were not part of the like the actual like fan fiction I wrote. Why did I even write that? Like I I'm just thinking about now and just regretting it. But we're just gonna find the one that I actually want to read, or so because I actually I'm debating between two types of TMF fan fictions I wrote. I don't know which one I like, but I guess I'll pick the one that's like shorter. So we save time for like the later fanfiction. Anywho, I'm not gonna read it on this. I'm gonna actually show the text like on the screen because I think some of you guys will have a hard time understanding of what I say since I speak too fast or just mumble a lot. So let's go to the DA website. Okay, so this is actually the first fanfiction I wrote, and I'm just looking away from the screen because I haven't looked at it. This is short, so we're good. I just wanted to find like the shortest one, and this was actually like an entry for Facebook, where you have to write some sort of story about the characters, and whoever has the best story wins, of course. Uh, anywho, uh, we're just gonna get reading into it, and see how it goes. I don't know where my finger is right now. Yes. Okay. So this is uh, a fanfiction about Duke, a TMM character. He is literally my favorite. Was my favorite until like with TMM because I got bored of it. Before I get started, just sit back in your seats, get some popcorn maybe, and uh, I hope you guys enjoy my reaction to this because I don't remember when this was published, like, 2014, so that was three years ago, when I was, like, 16. What was- why- why- why 16 year old me? I wanna go back and just delete this thing already. Okay, but we're just gonna go for this. Okay, here we go! Duke was just an ordinary guy. He loves to go on adventures and explore the world. He also loves skateboarding and breakdancing on his spare time. Okay, and just a little disclaimer that uh, there's like bad English in there, so just get ready for that. I'm really sorry. Just warning up ahead. And there might be some weird things happening. One day, Duke was walking at the skate park. To the skate park? Oh god, this is already bad. <laughs> About ready to go for some skateboarding until he didn't notice that Lewis was rolling behind him, going towards him. Oh, this is already bad. <laughs> what happened? Oh god, incoming! Lewis screamed. 
too late. Duke turned around seeing Lewis coming for him, crashed into him as Lewis fell right on the dude. Dude, watch it! Duke grumbled. Oh, I, I'm sorry, I was going too fast. I didn't see you! Lewis stammered. Oh well, Duke said, getting up. I got ready to go for some skateboarding. Duke was skateboarding for just 10 minutes. He was going downhill until he saw Kevin going downhill across him. Uh, I, I don't know which one correlates, but okay. Oh no! Kevin, watch out! Duke screamed. Kevin saw Duke coming his way, about ready to turn. About, about, about ready to turn. Turned? To turn? Is that even um, a sentence? To turn? But I, I believe I'll say to turn. I, I, could, I should have proof. I should have proofread before publishing this. Dang it. I'm about ready to turn to let Duke through. Kevin turned to the right quickly as Duke zipped by, by past Kevin. Zip past. But. Uh, I don't know how. I don't know how to write, okay? Hi, Kev. Bye, Kev. Duke shouted, leaving Kevin going. Hi. Bye. He's weird. Let's just stop here and talk about, like, what just happened? I just felt like I didn't even have a story plan. I just wrote whatever came to my head and just like like characteristics of like the DMM characters. <sighs> I'm already cringing by this, okay? Like, what the heck, 16 year old me or 15 year old me? Uh, whatever, whatever, just when I was just, like a teenager. I was, this is how much I was, I loved DMM until I got bored of it. I know I said this before, I'm probably gonna say this a lot in the video, but we're just not gonna waste any more time and just keep going. Later, Duke heard a scream from a helpless boy as he sees Jimmy saw. Uh, I know, I should have put past tense. Okay, you guys, you guys can stop judging on my grammar. I just I was in a rush. I just didn't have a life. I wasn't thinking twice before I posted this. As he sees Jimmy with the knife who just killed the poor Flynn. Oh, I wonder how Anna would feel if her brother got killed. Oh well, probably Anna was sneaking out. Jimmy ran towards Ben and killed him. Oh dear. With the gun floating above Ben's body. Duke saw Dennis, running for the gun, grab, pulled the trigger, but missed. I just, that's me all the time when I'm playing, like, Vampire Hunters or any other, like, games that involve guns. I fail, I, I pull the trigger, then I fail completely. Oh, dang it! Someone else take the gun! Dennis threw it, threw it over to Lewis, Lewis fired, but missed as well. Then threw it to Duke. Doom ran towards Jimmy, jumped over him, did an epic air shot, taking taking uh down Jimmy. Duke landed on his feet while Jimmy collapsed on the ground and died. I know I didn't see that, but he did die, obviously because he was a murderer. Dennis and Lewis were shot. Dude, how did you do that? Lewis asked the scales. Was the only answer Duke replied with. Okay then, let's continue with skateboarding. Dennis said, so everyone skateboard. I mean skateboard. Everyone in the skateboard continued with skateboarding for the rest of the day. The end. Like, okay, this is really short, but let's just let's just like admit that this was really weird. Okay, okay. Well, um, I kind of felt weirded out after reading my first ever TMF fanfiction fiction and. I don't know why I even wrote that. Obviously, it was for a Facebook entry. <laughs> but I don't want to read another one. We're just gonna move on to the next fanfiction, which actually requires me to look up some. Alright, I found the fanfiction I want to read for this video is from Theodore Tugboat. And again, uh, it's a fanfiction, so obviously, it's not from the actual television show. So, for those of you who never heard of Theodore Tuck, or will probably have heard of it, but never knew what it is, it is a children's show from the 1990s, 
And it ended around 2002 or 2003. It's like Tommy's and Friends, but it's with anthropomorphic bots. I mean, ducks. And there are five tugboats who are friends. Sometimes they go through like teamwork or arguments or problem solving. And lots of the episodes revolve around life lessons for children. So it's like a learning like thing. And the five tugboats are Theodore, obviously the title character. Emily, the vigorous, Hank, who is also a type of like Theodore, George, the valid, and Bodak, the diligent, I think, yeah, diligent. And they all make sure that the harbor is a friendly harbor around and it takes place in Halifax, Canada. I think that's most of it. Uh, if you're inter curi more curious about it, uh, I suggest you go watch some episodes of Theodore the Boat. Uh, they're all on YouTube, so yeah, it's a really cute show, and I highly suggest it. Not really highly, I suggest it if you're the, like bored and want to watch something for fun. I've been watching it from the past August, and it's become a habit for me. And now, like just watching it more, I start to think about my career a bit more, like where I see myself five years from now. Anywho, we're just not going to talk about me, we're just going to talk about the fanfiction. And it's called Bumping Love, and it's by Sodo Matchmaker. Without any further ado, let's get reading. I'm having a stuffy nose right now. Not because I'm sick, it's just so warm outside. And it's been warm from the past weeks or so. Alright, Bumping Love, here we go. One bright morning, Theo and Emily were bringing a cargo, cargo ship into the harbor. The sun was shining and the waves were warm on their hulls. They had just finished the docking when Emily gave Theodore a bump. Hey! Hey! Emily and Theodore have been great friends for some time. She has, she had been a teacher to him about getting his reward. True. But you know what, sadly, Theodore never got his reward. Like, throughout five seasons and I got so upset. Because it was hinting that he should get his fever, but it never happened. But she just bumped him all of a sudden. It wasn't a tough bump. It was kind of a soft nozzle, but still, Theodore was confused. Later that day, Theodore was along the sunny beach resting. Emily came up early and she bumped him again. Theodore was surprised that she was just smiling sweetly. Again? Hi, Theodore. Theodore was now even more confused. The next way, the dispatcher was giving the tugs their jobs for the day. Tugboats today is quite normal. George, you want to take a cargo ship out of the ocean? Yes, sir. Further, go help him right away. Theodore, Thomas and Take Engine's visiting today. What? Thomas and Take Engine's visiting today? Okay, that was all of a sudden. Now it's like a crossover. Let's just say I just want to like ask why Thomas and Tank is visiting. I always imagine like a cross, a movie crossover between Theodore and Thomas because Theodore and Thomas do say share the same characteristics as each other. You are welcome to bring. You are well. You are to welcome him into the big harbor. Theodore was excited. Thomas and Tank Engine was his hero. He built bomb with them to greet him. But you can't pull the real barge alone. It's too heavy, so another tug will go with you. The dispatcher looked over at Emily, who looked very excited. Theodore hoped he wouldn't pick Emily. He was afraid she would bump him again. Emily, you were to go and help Theodore. Emily was delighted. Yes, sir. Bother! Good luck, guys. Soon enough, soon they were out on the ocean. All the way, Emily continued to bump Theodore. Oh my god. Well, I mean, if Theodore told her to stop, then, I mean, wouldn't that make things better so she wouldn't have to stop bumping him? She even bumped him as they finished docking Thomas's rail barge. At last, Theodore had enough. Emily, if you won't stop bumping me, I'll never want to work with you again. Emily looked as... as she... as... Ugh, as if she was about to cry. Fine, I'll just leave it alone. And then she starts crying. 
That's sad. <laughs> but at the same time, I'm kind of weirded out of what's happening. Although I do get what's going on, but I'm just weirded out by the story. Not in a bad way, in like a neutral way. I don't really have a... Sometimes I don't have like a good or bad way, but I just feel neutral. But I just feel weird about this. What's going on? This is, uh, this is either like I'm reading this and like some of you guys' childhoods are being ruined or it's like uh, entertained by how people are creative. Like, I'm not sure. <laughs> but I'll try to keep this as positive as I can in case the person is like watching this video who is right, who wrote this fanfiction. Emily raced back towards dog. Theodore fell back. Thomas was surprised. Theodore, why did you do that? I didn't mean to upset her. I just wanted her to stop bumping me all the time. Okay, like I, I like I did say, Theodore told her to stop. Then, I mean, wouldn't that make things better so she wouldn't have to stop bumping him? But he didn't have to talk to her like that. I mean, yeah, there was some stuff who actually talked to their friends that way. Then. Sometimes they end up like leaving forever and then like or so, but not actually leaving because that'd be pretty sad for the children <laughs> or like anyone. I didn't mean to upset her, I just wanted her to stop bumping me all the time. Was she doing it hard and mean? No, it was kind of like a nozzle. The massage, then he chuckled, then he laughed. What's so funny, Theodore? Emmy, Emily wasn't loving you to be mean. She was doing that because she loved you. Dido could not believe what he had heard. Well, she is a nice to have. What? what? <laughs> yeah, that's what the girl talked to us, to a boy talk that fancies deeply. Dido felt awful. Oh no, what have I done? I better. I better go say I'm sorry. Thanks, Thomas. Get out of the bell. Dido, like. Theodore raised back to the grace. Oh, Jin Tug is salvaged completely dark. Emily was dead. She was facing away from him, looking very sad. Emily, are you alright? But Emily didn't. And she didn't answer. Uh, <laughs> Emily didn't answer. Are you upset? And she was upset. I thought you didn't want to be with me anymore. Emily, I'm sorry I shattered you. I didn't know you liked me enough to bump me. Of course, I like you that much. You're the kind of sweetest talk I've ever met. Oh, that's cute. Well, I have to admit, you're the cutest girl I've ever met. Cutest, wow. I mean, admit it. Like I said before we did, I did say this is a really cute show. But I think Emily should have known that Theodore actually does not, being, does not like being called cute. Because that offends him, and he wants to be seen as like a hard working tug. It's true in the TV show. Aw, thank you. Then Emily was so happy she bumped Theodore again. The same way she had all day. But Theodore smiled. I'm not gonna be upset anymore. This made Emily very happy. The end. Okay, well that was kind of surprisingly weird. I think, I don't... I know it's very creative why I'm just like really loud of what's happened. And every time I like read something or watch, my response would be what just happened. I honestly don't know what just happened to be honest. I, I don't know what I don't know the context, but if you guys know the context of the story, just comment down below and I'd be really happy that someone had decided to help me. Well, that was an adventure. Absolutely, I did have fun reading this even though I cr I slightly cringed at them. And I don't really read a lot of fan fictions, like a lot. I just try to stay away from them as much as I can because some of them can go out of hand and some of them can get weird. But anywho, I just want to say thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you guys enjoyed me reading some weird fan fics because I definitely was weirded out from like the two of them and i will see you guys in the next video bye